Hello and welcome back to another Free to Play Friday. Today I have played Trials Rising Open Beta. And uh, um, basically, well, you know, there was um, BMX or, mo or motorbike um, like obstacle courses that are on like uh, places like Mini Clip and stuff like that. Yeah, well, it's basically one of those, and I've never been particularly good at these kind of games, so... Um, yeah, most of this footage was just me, um, just failing to, you know, just crashing and failing, and also later on I picked a, a mo motorcycle, like, which I thought uh, was just a different colour, and we actually uh, put two-player mode in, which is actually something unique to it, because I don't think any other... Anything, I've never played a game like this that had two players, so that's something unique ha it has. Um, and something I accidentally show off. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that, Ubisoft made it. It's yeah, it's got two player. You go, you you go over obstacles in the motorcycle. Like if you like those kind of games, you'll probably love this. Um, and of course, it, right now it's, it's just like in open beta. Um, now, when it does fully release, I've got a couple of things to say. Firstly, it'll it'll need to be free to play. Like, there's no way that um, this game is gonna do well at all and not be free to play. Secondly, they're not they're gonna have to not lock anything behind paywall because, like I said, there's free to play versions of this already out on. Um, places like mini clips so if this wants to have any semblance of success it will not only need to be free to play but not have anything locked behind a, a paywall uh, yes as you can see here I, I unknowingly chose the two player bags so I was just hooked up so I just took my joy cons off my switch and I just uh, uh, you know, paired them up and just left uh, then to one side. It's actually, and I did a, a little bit, I did try to play it uh, with uh, two controllers at the same time, uh, but that was next to impossible, but I, I just um, did it normally after uh, like 50 crashes, like, I just crashed again and again and again and again, um, and it, uh, yeah, well, actually, it'll probably be these things because I'm going off my while I'm seeing right now, and um, I'll probably speed this up. Um, just to waste as little footage as possible. Because I'm not going to be talking for the entire, I think it was 16 minutes I played this game for. Yeah, I didn't play it for that long because, again, I'm not really that interested in these kind of games. Like, good for you if you like these kind of games, and this will be probably be something you will uh, be um, picking up and playing um, once it uh, fully releases, or even pick up beta and uh, play that all the way through as well. Um, but it doesn't have cross progression, so whatever you do in the beta doesn't it will not transfer over into the main game. I think it said that um, at the beginning um, when I first booted it up. Um, well, um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just um, there are a loot boxes, but by the looks from what I've seen, just like a little quick flick, flick through the different thing, uh, the little like different stickers and stuff. And by the way, looks of it, you can get all of them just by earning the in-game currency. So I don't think loot boxes will be too bad. Um, I think you will be able to unlock everything just by yeah. Playing through the game normally without having to spend any money. Um, so that's not the worst implement. Ooh, oh, anyway, anyway um, that's not the worst implementation of loot boxes uh, um, in a video game. Uh, but it would, I'd rather it not be there at all, but whatever. Um, well, 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 um, there's really not that much to say about it from what I know, it's just a basic, um, obstacle course on a motorbike. You press B to return to the last checkpoint, you press 
and we must X to restart the entire race again. Um, something I will complain about is um, your guy will die with just like the lightest of tap, like the tiniest tap onto the on his you know his head to the ground, and he'll just fall off. And uh, that uh, was quite annoying from time to time. Um, but yeah, just like I said, there's not really much to talk about this game. Like, I want to say more about it, but it just doesn't really give me anything to talk about. Like, the music is surprisingly quiet, and, it's, and it, it seems to be... Um, from what I understand, probably something like um, heavy metal or death metal or something like that. It's, it's kind of like rock, rock metal music kind of music. Uh, I couldn't really hear it that well, and I wasn't paying that much attention to it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So I can't really say much on the music because it was very quiet, and I um, didn't want to end up deafening myself. But when I finished recording the video, and I went into Another game, and then the volume was so high, it definitely. Um, but it definitely seems like a decent, you know, game if you like these type of games. Uh, um, I, would, uh, I don't know, you know, how loot boxes and microtransactions will affect it in the full release, and even then, they might change it after reviews have come out. So. I'm not really going to say anything on the loot boxes right now, I'm just saying as it as they are right now, in the open beta, which came out like a day ago, um, they are they are inoffensive right now. Um, but yeah, definitely um, keep an eye on those loot boxes, because they could easily go from inoffensive to intrusive or um, just straight up locking stuff behind loot boxes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What I'm going to do it now is um, I'll say goodbye, I'll um, see you guys in the next video, and I'll just speed up the footage so it'll be a bit faster. Bye-bye.